kayong lahat. Um, guys, share ko lang po doon sa uh, mga nababali, napapabalitang mga kalamidad na dadating na naman ngayon. Uh, especially um, in late eh, summer. Um, sana guys, ipagdasal po natin. Tulungan nyo po kami mag-pray para po sa uh, mga mga um, kalamidad na dadating pa. Hindi naman natin sila inaantay. At sana, wala naman po. At sana, hindi naman totoo. At sana, yun po ay lahat ay haka-haka lang. Guys, gusto, nyo, gusto ko lang po marinig ninyo yung napapabalita ngayon na mayroon na naman daw po tatama na bagyo dito sa Lite. Um, especially uh, Northern Summer. Um, sana Lord, huwag naman po matuloy kung ano man yun. The strongest storm of the year anywhere on the planet is zeroing in on the Philippines and we're talking about Super Typhoon Hagupit. Tom Sader is here to tell us all about it and why it is so dangerous and you were just saying during the break there maybe they could get lucky in Tacloban. Well, lucky. Is yeah, they're not in the clear. Yeah. yeah. They're not in the clear, but yeah. it's trending a little north of Tacloban, which would put the storm surge, uh, the stronger winds north of them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're still going to see damage. The problem is we're not sure where landfall is yeah. going to be. We've never seen a system like this where we can't really nail it down just yet because we can't find any steering currents. Is this bigger than Haiyan? No, no, but it's pretty okay. close and it's the strongest since Haiyan. So mm. everybody needs to know that. Evacuations have got to take place. And the problem is, it's such a large area of the coastline, about 160 to 200 kilometers. That's a lot of evacuations. Mm. And how do you, you can't just jump on a car yeah. and you get down the highway. Yeah. Let's talk about it, because this is a beast of a storm that's going to affect a lot of people. In fact, thousands and thousands are living in fear right now. Can you imagine the agony uh, and, and the frustration? First of all, you're, you're recouping just 13 months after 7,000 lives were lost, and you've been working all year long to try to get your life back together in your home, and you've got another storm system? Here's the path of Haiyan, down to the south in blue. This is now what we're thinking could be a closer path, which has really jumped quite a bit. This is 160 kilometers to the north. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center's now path has moved on land. Remember, the last couple of days, they've kept it offshore. Notice Manila, that's midday Tuesday. Possibly late next week, it's Vietnam. The system has lost its eye, which means it's undergoing a little rebuilding process. When they lose their eye, they lose a little bit of strength. But that eye is going to come back, and it's going to intensify again. Look at the wind gusts, 325 kilometers per hour. Haiyan made landfall with 380 kph winds. Think about it this way. It's such a large storm, it doesn't matter where the landfall is going to be because we're going to see a mess in a lot of places. Northern island of Samar is where we're looking at landfall. Again, Joint Typhoon Warning Center brings it on land. But there is a variety of models that are still in total disagreement. From if You look at Beijing or South Korea or Taiwan. In blue is Japan, closer to Takloban. We have models ourselves here in the CNN World Weather Center that dive it down to the south, so you're not in the clear yet. In white is Pegasa. That is the national weather agency for the Philippines. They bring it in about 6 p.m. Saturday evening, and we pretty much agree with that. Joint Typhoon Warning Center, Sunday morning around 1 in the morning. Already, signal 1 in yellow, signal 2. This is kind of like beware, uh, or a watch. We're looking at a strength right now equivalent to a Category 5 hurricane. So again, these are going to become level signals 3 and 4 as the storm gets a little bit closer. Let me show you a history of December storms. Washi was a tropical storm. All right, in 2011, it killed 1,200 people. A tropical storm of flooding. Bopa, the very first super typhoon to ever make landfall in Mindanao in 2012 in December, killed 1,100 and over 8,000 families were left to, to have to have find some help. So we're watching Hagabit. So again, as we continue to watch the storm system, the eye will redevelop. It will re-strengthen. We do believe north of Tacloban on Samar Island, but it's going to be Legaspi. It's going to be several landfalls mm. as it makes its way west. And you were saying, northwest. I mean, this is um, some of the warmest waters yeah. in the world, which will yeah. fuel the strength uh, of this typhoon. And we have seen one year after another, the storms are getting stronger. Because yeah. the water's getting warmer. And it's deeper heat. Which That's is right. climate change. That's right. Three to four meters, did you say this? At least meter. Through? We had five meters with Haiyan. So right. we were dropping down maybe a meter. Right. It's amazing. And, and Got to get off the coast. 230 kilometer an hour winds? Is that uh, what you're saying? Just right now, uh, with about 350. Wow. I mean, it's amazing. Wow.
kasi uh, hindi pa po lahat nakakaraos doon sa nangyari last five years doon sa hayan um, wag naman po sanang payagan ng Panginoon na maulit uli yung mga naranasan ng mga kapwa ko, kababayan dito sa Tacloban at sa, la, sa summer, lalo na sa kalapit na bayan dito sa Leyte oh guys mahirap, mahirap, sobrang hirap po yung mga naranasan naranasan namin dito sa Leyte noong bagyong hayan o um um, bagyong Yolanda kasi halos hanggang ngayon hindi pa nakaka um, nakakaraos yung mga kamag-anak natin na nasa lanta ng bagyong Yolanda Uh, guys, uh, nung mga nakarang araw, mayroon na naman tayong naranasan ng lindol dito sa Leyte na malakas guys malakas yung lindol na tumama dito nung nakarang araw uh, mayroon mga uh, nasira yung building kagaya na lang po sa downtown ng Tacloban, nasira po yung school ng Asian uh, Asian Development um, College nasira po yun nung, bagi, nung naglindol nung isang araw Um, yun po yung school na matagal na po na nakatayo dito sa Tacloban um, sana naman po uh, tulungan nyo po kami guys ipagdasal na sana matigil na po lahat ng kalamida dito sa Leyte sana hindi na makaranas pa ng ano pa mga sauna yung mga naan dito sa na mga kababayan natin dito sa Leyte kasi um, sobra na po kasi yung mga naranasan nila Um, halos yung iba uh, matulungan nyo kami guys dasal doon sa dadating na um, sana po hindi naman po kasi dumating siya kasi takot na takot din po ako maranasan kung ano man yun um, guys nakakalungkot isipin na ganito talaga mangyayari sa mundo especially dito natatak nakakatakot nakakatakot guys kasi um, um may mga kamag-anak ta may mga kamag-anak tayo maliliit pa yung mga anak natin um nakakatakot please guys please please ipagpray po natin na hindi po siya dumating at hindi po totoo yun kasi nakakatakot guys sana naman ipagdasal tulungan nyo po kami magdasal para po sa kaligtasan ng mga kababayan namin dito sa Lite sa Bisaya guys tulungan nyo po kami ipagdasal po na sana wala nang mangyaring mga sakuna mga kalamidad na nararanasan namin ngayon dito sa um, binabaliwala lang po nila balita sa TV binabaliwala lang nila guys um, 
sana naman guys kung sino man yung kung sino man yung mga nakakapanood nitong itong video ko huwag natin baliwalain yung mga balita sa atin kasi uh, para naman makapaghanda tayo kung ano man po yung mga dumadating kung ano man po yung um, mapaghandaan natin hindi yung kung kailan nandyan na tsaka tayo hindi natin maiwasan na uh, mataranta kung ano na ang mga nangyayari hindi naman natin lahat ito kagustuhan guys hindi naman natin kahit naman sino ayaw ayaw natin ng ganito ayaw natin maranasan yung mga sakuna um, guys pinapaalalahanan po tayo ng ng mga nagbabalita sa atin pinapaalalahanan lang po tayo na tayo maghanda kasi um, para rin naman ito sa kaligtasan natin wag po nating ipagwalang bahala yung mga mga balita sa TV, sa radyo wag po nating ipagwalang bahala yun lang po guys, sana po ipag-pray po natin ang kaligtasan ng mga kababayan po natin dito sa Tagloban, sa Summer, sa mga kalapit na bayan natin.